Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the rocks using landscape. So let's go into Cinema 4D and have a look how it's done. Okay, so here I am in C4D, it's my personal project I'm working on and I'm looking for a rock to add to the scene. That's been always way uh, I've been doing it with Sphere and recently I've just discovered it's much better to do it with the landscape. So I'm adding background to my scene and adding a landscape and in the inside the landscape menu we go to object tab and click on spherical and we get a spherical wrapped landscape and I'm just gonna make it smaller just so it fits into my scene. So now it's remind me a sphere but it has much better controls in terms of uh, creating a nice interesting shape. We can add the displacer to this landscape but let's first fine tune a little. Uh, I'm just gonna click on ND and also I'm gonna add a light uh, so I see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna go redshift lights and area light. I'm just gonna drag it up, rotate it, nice. I kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just gonna reduce this area light, good stuff. And before I start, I'm just gonna add to it like quick material, just some concrete, nice. So now when we see how it's gonna look, we can just kind of start adjusting the landscape a little. So I'm gonna add more segments to get more detail and uh, furrow, and then I'm just gonna reduce the scale a little. It's not so crazy detail. So this would be like a basic rock, and then if we upping the scale and we are getting it's kind of different shot. Nice, fantastic. I would take this rock easy. So. You can see it's really easy and now it's just about to, you know, you, you either scale this, make it more detailed or you add C level, you kind of suck it in or, or you get plateau level. So you can just make it into sphere again and you can just kind of play with these settings to get the rock you desire. Uh, so I know it's really easy, it's too easy maybe, but it's basically scale, sea level, plateau level, and, and nudge it into the direction you really want it. And I could take this rock immediately. Not bad, I would say. Not bad, right? Can be better, but for the time we spent on it, it's really fast rock. Uh, we can always, you know, you know fine tune this more, but that was just a quick tutorial. I'm just gonna rotate it somehow differently. Yeah, that's better. Nice. So I have a rock in my scene really quickly. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and uh, see you in the next one. So, ciao.